I love folks and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the National Union of Greece we're trying to form Byzantium and uh, we only have the allies in our way and a little bit of the French as well later uh, to form the glorious Byzantine Empire we only have what is it 15 plus 25 is uh, 40 days uh, left until our declaration is ready on the Allies. The front line with China is going to be a pain. I've also realized that um, Japan, our protectorate, has a bunch of Swedish troops in it, uh, which sort of bothers me. But hopefully they'll they'll be exiting, leaving the the, the region soon, and we'll be able to um, to defend this. Now we are repairing a lot of stuff in. Uh, in Japan here that we've used and stuff, but Japan, like mostly this thing really bothers me with the border. And I'm being I'm gonna be really petty here, but I think we might want to annex Japan uh, by decreasing its uh, autonomy status over time. So whatever we can do here, we are going to to try uh, in order to annex Japan eventually. I'm also gaining a lot of political power that I'm not reusing properly, so we're going to go ahead and activate suppressed subjects there for a little bit of extra political power, or cost, rather. Oh god, this is daunting. Uh, 32.1 million uh, manpower, 199 divisions. They don't have a, as many factories, though, so hopefully that will be how we destroy them, but... God damn, that's this is gonna be painful. And look at that, we only have 24 divisions on this front. It's not. I really don't like this. Massive attrition for the units here. That's really good to see. I don't know what they're doing, uh, but there are a lot of Chinese units here and Swedes. And hopefully that will just uh, kill their manpower. Although this is very hard to kill. All right, our justification is done, and the gamble is ready. We have a new army as well, Legion. Oh, uh, that's not a, s a small case. I don't want a small case. A capital L there, Legion 4, with some uh, motorized units and armored division. Of course, we still have a lack of modern tanks, but we are slowly building that back up, and I think it is time. Let's do it. Oh, God. Are we ready? gonna be China oh god China is scary but let's call our allies let's click conquer and let's go all right we've called everybody and people are in the war let's see Switzerland is with us the question is what I'm afraid of okay Austria might get run over there we have Italy on our side though so that's good uh, the important thing is of course that we get our our shit together and we actually use, or actually get the most uh, war participation. That's the most important thing for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and nuke Belgrade already. Uh, maybe we should nuke the coastal cities as well. Why not, right? Uh, should we go ahead? We're the ones attacking here in the mountains. We could definitely help help out by doing some of this. Uh, there's a weak spot there. We'll just be attacking the weak spots. This woods. Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Poland has been called in, and our blitz begins. Uh, the Dutch East Indies have been called in. China still hasn't been called in, I think. No. We're just gonna nuke our way to Belgrade here. Uh, Venezuela wants to send divisions, sure. Oh, you got them Swedes, right, because they had troops here, and that somehow makes things... Oh, shit. How close are you to surrendering? Mm -hmm. That's bad. I'm going to stay defensive against Sweden here, uh, mostly because they obviously have the superior numbers, but we're also building some forts on the front line. I'm going to let them maybe waste their manpower attacking us, and then we'll push. Ah, damn it! I think Hungary just took Belgrade right under us. We were trying to nuke our way here, but... God damn it. Oh well. At least Yugoslavia should be surrendering soon. 
And then after that, we, uh, we can move these units up to Poland, destroy Poland, and then eventually uh, take on Sweden. I mean, oh, Luxembourg apparently is a major power. Somehow they have 50 factories? Is that even possible? What do you own? No. I, I don't know how they... Am I, am, am I seeing this right? Luxembourg, major power. What? There we go, Yugoslavia capitulates, it's July. And now... Question is, okay, no, you can just go do that. And you can go do that, and then the rest of you can just form up against Poland. Well, hello there, Prague, and goodbye. I'm very sorry, I just have to do this. Uh, I don't know, again, still no information about how nukes work with the new patch and stuff, but... Um, I'm sure I'm sure it helps. Poland's being kind of annoying, actually. Uh, a lot more annoying than I was expecting. We're also sort of out of supply in certain areas. Which is uh, new to me. Oh, finally, Turkey here. Or at least the Yugoslav uh, holdings in Turkey are about to fall. Uh, and then we can send this army up to Poland or something. Maybe, hopefully. I really need to take them out. Um, and we're finally out of manpower, too. God damn. Uh, turns out I'm using quite a lot of nukes, so we're gonna probably have to build some more nuclear facilities across our great land. Um, because apparently 11% a day isn't enough. Whoa, 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 Sweden. What are you doing? That's not what's supposed to be happening here. You're not supposed to take my forts. Ugh, I'm gonna have to change all my fighter wings to actually jet fighters. I, I've been thinking they'd change normally, but jet fighters are actually a different class of fighters, technically, so we have to manually do all of, all of this shit. Um, which is kind of really annoying, but uh, I'm gonna stop complaining. Now, this sort of really bothers me. China isn't fighting, but they are fighting. Uh, and I haven't been paying attention, so Xiangqing actually pushed through a huge amount of territory here uh, without me noticing, but I'll maybe cut them off, make them surrender or something, and then um, those units will be trapped, hopefully. Or Czechoslovakia. They are just getting wrecked here. Uh, the push is not going as fast as I expected. It should be... I mean, I should have thought about it. Obviously, we don't exactly have the units... Uh, but hopefully our push in Chusung King here works out, maybe. Oh, actually, the British Raj is on our side. Wonderful. All right, Chusung King will probably surrender very soon. Oh, at this point, I wouldn't mind the U.S. joining us. Um, I mean, it would actually be very nice. Also, why are there so many communists in the U.S.? Like, what is happening? Why is this world so full of communism? I just want to know. Oh, this war. <laughs> Why? Why is it so hard to form Byzantium, damn it. Also, I tried to ask Hungary to give me uh, these two provinces, Slovenia and Dalmatia here. But they don't seem to be very happy to do that, in fact. We might ask for only one, so I'll ask for, like, Dalmatia. And then eventually maybe Slovenia. Um... But yeah, we can't really do anything. <sighs> because we also need the Turkish states. God damn. Oh god! Uh, Sian King, what are you doing? Also, how many people do you have? How are you doing this? 40 divisions, yeah, okay. How, how many divisions is China sending you, though? Are you even sending? Like, why? What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did you see that manpower? Oh god. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Alright, you know what? Let's do all adult server. Like, I don't understand how I'm losing people. How do I have negative mobilization? How's that supposed to work? Whatever. All adult serve. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. And now all these Chinese troops are screwed. Paradox, if you're watching this, just one suggestion. 
After a country capitulates and there are foreign units in your territory that you've captured, say, for example, this, where China has a bunch of units in my territory, I should be, have an option. There should be an option in this menu where I go uh, occupy or this region, sort of. Not just like garrison area, but like similar to garrison area where I just select states and then the units know that, oh, this isn't taken by us and there are units there. Let's in and they're encircled, let's go and destroy them. Something of the sort, I don't know, because filling out all these pockets is painful. I'll admit, I was really scared there for a few minutes. I was like, oh my god, China's just gonna have like a hundred divisions on my on my back side. They're gonna take all my oil uh, rich areas. Um, actually, they took a lot of my steel, which explains all the pain I was going through here. But uh, now we're good. There are much we easier ways to perform Byzantium. I was actually looking at some... Uh, not playthrough, but some guide by someone on on YouTube uh, who did it in the matter of like four years, and here we are. What is it? Uh, Thirteen years later, and we still haven't even come close. Although we are much bigger and more powerful than most uh, Byzantiums. Ooh, a pocket! Oh, thank God. I'm starting to get worried, actually. Oh, damn it, they've broken through in Austria. They're breaking through in Romania. God damn it. Uh, we're really using losing units on the uh, Czech front here. It's really, really bad. Very, very, very bad. Japan has capitulated. Oh, yikes. That's not... I haven't... Oh, damn it. And we're losing units left and right. Oh, God, God, God. Please help me. I almost wish I could uh, I could cheat and I wasn't an Iron Man, but of course that would be pointless. I'm just going to kill them with casualties. Uh, they've been pushing quite hard. We're going to let them keep pushing. And eventually they'll probably, hopefully, maybe, run out of manpower. Uh, doesn't seem very likely, but... These are, after all, not the biggest states fighting, uh, and we do have Italy. China hasn't joined, so in a way, I almost think we're safe. Unfortunately, we can't stage a coup in China either, if, uh, maybe eventually, but um, as of now, they do have too high stability for that. Oh, I really wish someone could give me lend lease. That would be fantastic. Modern tank? Come on, America. Uh, how do we not have enough, like, what? We're producing 165 a week. Uh, but we still have a huge def oh, I don't know. This is sad. Come on, Lithuania. Surrender, please. I need someone to surrender. I need to feel like I'm winning, at least a little bit. Their losses are sig significantly higher, though. This is good. Oh, something I totally forgot about. We have these 24 divisions that are cleaning up the Chinese units here and that we should definitely send to the front line eventually. Um, there is a crossing here. We could retake Japan or we could send them to, I don't know, Poland? We're probably going to send them to Poland. 8 million losses on their side. 5.14 on ours. And I'm crossing my fingers for China not to join because then... If China joins, it's the end, basically. We are totally screwed. Also, what is the ne Netherlands doing here? What's happening? Right, the Dutch are... I guess they... Ch what? What are the Americans doing, actually? Like, I'm so confused. Sometimes they seem to have troops... Huh. Philippines have sent troops to America. America's fighting... Chile. Right. China is going democracy. Ugh. What do you know? Oh god, my armies. Oh my god. This one lost basically half of their strength somehow. I guess we just need to stop attacking. Let's uh, let's stop attacking shit. You can also stop attacking. Just stay on the defensive now. Okay, Poland is a threat. Let's get them to capitulate. Uh, let's put this on... Let's put... No, no. Goddamn. 
See, this uh, this game is definitely bugged, or this patch, rather, uh, with the whole... There's a, there are a lot of bugs, but it doesn't matter. We're going to take Warsaw, or at least push to the river here. We'll do that. You stupid French and Germans, what are you thinking? No. Oh, oh the Czech are out of manpower, actually. Uh, I wonder, Brussels, they're also out. The Dutch are out, so it's basically only Poland that still has men left. Uh, and then we also have the Swedes, but the Swedes shouldn't... I mean, the population size is pretty small, so also out of manpower. Who else, then? You're not fighting. The Irish? Greenland? Denmark? Yeah, I think at this point, if we exhaust the... Polish manpower pool will be good. Uh, we just have to make sure we don't die in the process. Oh, this is good. This is very good. To see their pool being wasted, it's nice to nuke their stacks here. Um, they probably take a lot of damage from that. And eventually, we will we will prevail. Oh, it's a slog this war. God. Damn. Um, I mean, they counterattack and stuff, but their casualties, their casualties. I mean, the poles, 2.8. How's it looking? 6 to 8. We just have to keep nuking them uh, into oblivion. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, this is really good. Since they're attacking, they're the ones losing org. We're on the defensive. Uh, we should be just fine. I mean, just look at this: 2.9, 2.91, etc. Yeah, this is this is wonderful. I mean, hopefully they keep counterattacking throughout the uh, the fall here and maybe the winter, and eventually we will have the upper hand. Um, I'm hoping, in terms of uh, manpower, we've only lost 5.63 million. They've lost. 9.25. Oh, yeah. They're quickly draining here. 4, 2, 3. Just a little bit more, and they will be crushed. Oh, we're actually not... We're actually seeing bigger numbers of manpower coming in here. Uh, which is very nice. Hopefully... Uh, what's our control? I don't like that it's so low. We should definitely... Let's spend some some shit here. Do we have 70% now? Yeah, we should. Let's keep nuking. Oh, no, that's not in our range. I guess we'll we'll nuke the forests here. Uh, and then maybe down here as well. Alright, Poland is out of manpower. Now it's just a matter of time before they start depleting their own forces, and we go in for the counterattack. December uh, 1949 here. Uh, it's looking, it's looking actually kind of okay. I mean, it's not exactly the the war I expected, but uh, we're fine. We're we're okay. I have a feeling this may take a little longer. Hopefully, I mean, we've secured the U.S. out of uh, the Allies. We could end up with a Canada, maybe, potentially. Ireland is fighting. The Swedes are looking sort of weak. Oh, God, how do we only have three units left here? Yeah, oh, damn, we actually lost a lot of troops. Uh, let's uh, let's actually make sure. Oh God, that is terrible. Let's make sure we have units there. So what's the strategy now? The strategy is nuke their air bases into oblivion. Um, damage levels five out of eight. Well, we're gonna make sure it's eight out of eight. Anyhow, we've been uh, playing for quite a bit here. Um, we've done well. We've done, yeah, we've done okay. We've not done as well as expected, but 
we have uh, destroyed Zen King, who was a pain uh, and was almost destroying us for a second. We are pushing into Poland very slowly. We've uh, used maybe a hundred nukes or more already. And uh, Japan, we have allowed to fall because I'm stupid and I don't actually really care about islands. And we don't have that many units available for us. I don't really know what to do about our recruitable population, but hopefully that will recover. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say really, it's getting a little bit long and boring, but eventually we will defeat the Allies, and eventually we will defeat Italy, we will defeat the French, and Byzantium will be restored. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, this has been Gapster. I'll see you later, farewell.